Hi, this is John McEnroe. Alongside me is Pat Cash, and we are both looking forward to a great day of tennis. Well, it should be a great day and a great night. It's full of action, ready for it to go right now. We're here at the Australian Open, the magnificent Rod Laver Arena, for another exciting match. Let's get down to it. elected to serve. Time. Well, John, I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, she couldn't get out of the way. That's an ace. She wanted that. Well, the ladies may not be playing five sets, but uh, over three tough sets of tennis, boy, they can cover some court. And with the way that they, they're hitting the ball harder and harder these days, you've got to be super fit and have a great wingspan and agility to get back into the court. It's a winner. What a great ground stroke. Obviously, there's a need to make your opponent get on the move and to challenge their fitness level, right, Pat? Well, absolutely. You've got to make your opponent move. You've got to test out their, their strengths and their weaknesses. You've got to see how quick they are, see if they can, their, what their agility is like. And it's uh, the only way, really, to get, get to the weakness is to, to find one of the strengths and then hit it back the other side. Game point now. Well, she certainly, by getting that hole, she put the pressure back on the opponent. It's a lot like the men's out there with this court. A big serve followed by that huge forehand. They don't come to the net too often, the girls, but uh, when they do, they can certainly hit it effectively. Well, the forehand quite often is the most dominant shot in the game of tennis. And some of these uh, top players, boy, can they hit a winner from absolutely anywhere. And quick footwork, of course, and uh, a lot of power through the shot is one way that they can get into the correct position to hit the winner. And here we are, about to start up again. Oh, she's in a great lob for a winner there. Well, she's down love 30, John. You know, she hasn't got the biggest serve in the world, and she's made a couple of errors so far. Oh, what tactics is she going to play now? I'll tell you, she's got to dig down a little bit here and really try to play some higher percentage tennis. Speed and balance across the net. What a great volley winner. This serve on break point is absolutely crucial. That's gone into the net. Uh, this is an important second serve for her. Okay. 
Well, Scott, he's got all the shots in for you. He's breaking serve. That's a good break. Get things rolling in your favor. Well done, man. The player's looking to hold serve, consolidate the break, and really take charge here in this match. Well, we're back underway here. That's a fantastic ace. Oh, that's the sort of stuff that I love watching. Get, getting in quickly, hitting a volley winner. All right, John, discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because the player's hitting so fast. So maybe there's a con there. But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommended to hit, <laughs> hit with depth. And then we're underway again. Oh, clever play. That's a great touch for a lob winner. Oh, the backhand. What a shot. All right, you got a player love 30 down right now. You got to get a first serve in here, right? You want, you're desperate for a free point. Yeah, you got to this, uh, well... You know, and next point, of course, love 40 here in real, real trouble. So looking for a big first serve here and get a quick point. She smoked that shot. It's got to be an accurate serve here. Well, there's a break of serve. She's certainly going to put on a lot of pressure on her opponent. Now, when you feel like your opponent's returning well, the, usually what you do is you start to try to serve harder, go for closer to the lines, and that's what her opponent's doing there. But putting not, too much into it, you think? A little bit too much, playing, getting out of her element there, not in the comfort zone, and that's because of the return game there. An excellent break to serve. Well, full love in this set, John. Uh, she's playing poorly, inconsistent tennis. I mean, where does she go from here? She's got to tighten up a little bit. Yeah, it hasn't even been close yet. So at this point, it's going to take a meltdown for the uh, her opponent to get let her back in this set. So she's got to start playing better. Think ahead a little bit to the next set. Make her opponent work just that little bit here so she can get some confidence and start playing better in the next set. Oh, I can't get that serve back. What a great shot from Sharapova. She really had to open the face to get that volley up over the net. Yeah, well, it's a good effort to hold serve there, John. Here's what I like. There was some good, aggressive play. Good to see that. You also got 
what you see a lot, Pat, is this one-two punch in the game now. They got the big serve. They followed up with those huge forehands. A massive forehands with massive spin these days. Well, at this stage, uh, she's in real trouble. She's got to start building here somehow, point by point. Lovely. You have to have telescopic arms or something to get that one back. All right, Mac. What's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Well, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Line. Tough to beat. Full power on that forehand. Rally finished off by a cracking winner. Oh. Uh, she didn't get that one up, it's gone to the net. I'm not sure where really. she's going to go on this second serve. Oh. Oh. from that position into the net. Uh, she has to get down underneath it. Well, it's a good effort to keep the pressure on here. Well, if you're going to do it, do it that way. Clean winner sets up match point. Well, it's hard to stay focused on this match point. Well, that's it. Match point has been grabbed and uh, so is the win. That's just nice to try a couple different things. Test yourself, see what else is uh, you can move from the practice court into a match-like situation. So, but it start you thinking, hey, maybe I can pull this off in a bigger event. Well, that's about all we have from the Rod Laver Arena. For John McEnroe, I'm Pat Cash saying goodbye for now.